Printing or generating PDFs in SimSol is made easy with the use of the global print screen. As an adjuster or contractor, you know how important it is to present your claim nice, neat, and in easy to read documents. That's exactly what you'll accomplish when using the following method. While the print screen also has some features in it that will help remember the way you organize your documents and save you some time in the long run, this video will just be covering the basics of printing in SimSol to help get you started. So to get to the global print screen, you'll need to be inside of the file that you want to print. You can see if you're inside of a claim by looking to the left. If you see the claim enclosures, you're in the right place. I'm going to go up to the top of the screen under the Claim tab and select the Print icon. Up will pop up the global print screen. You'll see that it's basically comprised of four different sections. In this first section, over here to the left, is our available print items. This section will show all of the different components of the claim that you have created and are available for you to print. To the right of your Available to Print section is a selected Print Items column. This will display any components of your estimate that you would like to print. So as I come over here to the Available Print Items and select what I want to print, I'll either drag and drop or select the green arrow to move the items over. Once they are in the Selected Print Items column, you can either use the arrows at the bottom or drag and drop to change the order of the items. Over here on the right is the Print Options. When I select an item to print and move it into the Selected Print Items, this section will change depending on which type of document I just moved. Whether it's an estimate, photo sheets, or maybe a report, each one will have its own specialized print options. For an example, I'll select the building estimate. The building estimate has the most complex print options, but don't let that scare you. SimSol has preset the most commonly used settings for you. If you'd like to change anything here, say add a cover page, just select the checkboxes to add it. Photos also have their own print options. If we move over our photo sheets, you'll see a different setup to the right. Photo sheets print options always allow you to select which photos and in which order you like them to print. This section here works exactly like the available to print and selected to print columns. Just drag and drop or select the item and select the green arrow. Down at the bottom left is where you'll find the print group template section. This is a more advanced feature, so we'll cover this in another video. So essentially, they're a way to create templates of your selected print items. So if you have a certain way of setting up closing reports, you could save the setup here to make printing much faster. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to add in a few more items to my selected print items and then select print. In the window that pops up, you'll see a few different options. The most commonly used options will be printer, which will send the document to your computer's default printer. Preview, which will allow you to see how the document will look, and PDF, which will allow you to save this document to your computer so that you can send it to anyone via email or other data sharing utility. I'm going to select Preview just so we can see what this will all look like. After generating, you can see that the building estimate is right here, the photo sheets look like this, and you can also see the various components I've added. I'll close out of this for now because I'm not quite ready to print. Another time-saving feature that you can use is the Restore button. This button will populate the last printed item of this claim in your selected print items column. I'll show you how this feature works by closing out of the print screen by selecting Done. I'll make a quick change to one of my area's names, like so. I'll then go back up to Print again and select Restore. You can see all of the items that I had previously selected are now showing in the list. So now that I'm satisfied, I'll select Print and then PDF. I'll select the Browse icon to locate where I'd like to save this document, give it a name, and then select Save. To finish, just select OK. The Claims PDF will now be stored just where we saved it to. So that is a general overview of the global print screen. 
In our next video, I'll show you how to turn your demo license into a paid subscription. In the description box below, you'll find a free PDF tutorial on getting started with SimSol. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to our channel so you'll be notified when we release new videos.